Welcome to part 9. In part 9 I will explain how to fix treads and risers to your existing staircase. So let's begin. So now we've got all treads pre-cut. Uh, what's worth doing, if you've got a straight flight of stairs, it's definitely worth putting the numbers underneath so you don't get mixed up in case that you've got a variety of different sizes. They may only vary by one millimeter or so, but it's definitely worth to put the, the numbers at the back of the treads and risers. So now we have to remove all the treads uh, and let's let's do that. Okay, so in the process of preparation for gluing the treads, make sure the surface is clean, there's no dust or any loose material. Okay, so we will start our uh, feeding with the landing tread upstairs. So we'll, we'll make the risers to start with and for that we will use two adhesives. The first adhesive we're going to use is Instant Nails. Instant Nails is just a standard adhesive for uh, adhering or gluing skirtings, architraves, stair nosings. And the second adhesive is a Lumberjack. It's a five minute activation adhesive where it starts gluing, bonding after five minutes. Uh, and I will explain the reason as we will apply the adhesive in certain parts. I will also explain why we use two adhesives. Later on we'll move to using these dowel system just to secure threads uh, in place. It's a very secure way of doing it. So let's begin. Okay, so with Lumberjack, because it's slightly expanding adhesive, it is designed to fill all the voids and imperfections. So for example, all the little gaps and uh, especially when you have an older staircase, as you can see, we would normally put the adhesive in the corners, in the structural part, where a lot of questions is asked about will it strengthen the construction of the staircase, will it stop squeaking, and most likely it will when you apply uh, adhesive in the correct uh, spaces. So, as you can see, this adhesive is to go into this uh, void, into that hole, just to penetrate, just, just to go inside, expand and make that construction stronger. Okay, on the riser we make these glue dots with the other adhesive, which is called Instant Nails. Um, we make dots purposely so they stick out, so when we actually apply the riser, we've got room to push it towards the, your existing riser. Okay, at this stage, don't push it too far because what we want to do, we want the thread to actually fit nicely into that riser. So, as we have this little gap still available on that instant nails, the white glue, that means we still got about one or two millimeter maneuver to actually, when we fit that thread, we've got we can push it in so the gap at the back, uh, well, literally, there will be no gap at the back. The landing thread, very last upstairs thread, is designed to go with the thinner floors, about 12 millimeter. I'll have a just quick look at that thread. So it's rebated from the bottom, it's made narrower or shallower that way as well. It is just to meet thinner floors like carpet or vinyl or laminate floors upstairs. As the glue is still still active, uh, if by any reason you have pushed the riser too far that way, you can still uh, sort of fix it. And the, the way of fixing it, let me just grab one of the threads. So you've got about two centimeters space there. So what you can do, you can actually put the screw screw uh, one of the, the bigger screws in and use it as an anchor just to pull it towards you. Obviously your thread will cover that space, so don't do it any higher than the thickness of the thread. Also, why we use two adhesives, uh, or why it's recommended to use two adhesives? Uh, 
for the fitter, for the joiner or someone who's doing it as a DIY project, as you would start cladding your stairs from the top, you quite often will lean on it or you may even just walk on it. So what you don't want, you don't want your treads sliding out as you, as you work on it. So the first way just to secure tread from sliding is using that five minute adhesive. So what does that mean? That this adhesive, as after we've put that in the corners, it starts activating in, uh, in five minutes and also it starts holding tread, where the full cure of both adhesives is about 20 to 24 hours. There is also one more way available to secure your tread in place. It's a most secure um, way of doing it. So we've got that drill bit and that uh, rose available on our website. We've got these pins available and what you do you set that ring It's it's tied with Allen key. So if we can uh, move that uh, so it can Okay, so there's an Allen key there uh, So it can secure we've got a dowel set So our dowel set the dowels are 25 millimeter long and what you do, you would set more than half, a little bit more than half. So if that was 25 millimeter, would recommend from that point there to set the drilling at around 13 to 14 millimeters. So it's a little bit more than half of the dowel. And what we do, we would then drill two holes. So we drill two holes. Then the next stage is to put both pins, two pins, into these holes. Okay. So the next stage is to actually take the, the, the thread, put it on top, Give it a light tap and that should mark exact position of your pins, of your dowels underneath your new tread. So we've got one and we've got second one. So what you do now, you drill exactly the same as you did before, you drill in your new tread. As I said before, the drill bit is set at about 13 millimeter or 14 millimeter deep. And the threads are 20 millimeters, so there's another 6 millimeter before you would drill through it, which you don't want to do as you want to keep the uh, top of the thread as a nice clean surface. So both holes are prepared in the existing thread and the new thread. We will now just put one of Rises Okay, we're just now one of the rises Now apply the adhesive a lumberjack or one of the instant nails into the holes in the existing tread. Put the dowels in. Again, lumberjack in the corners and so it can nicely go in into all voids and gaps to fill this area by expanding. Okay, then apply the other adhesive, which is instant nails. And now place your new thread in position.
Okay, so as you can imagine now, the dowels went into the holes in the new tread where it completely locked the tread in the position. That's the most secure way. You can of course use just adhesives themselves. You can use one adhesive. What we show on this video that you can go very secure way using the dowels and both adhesives but can also switch to using just one adhesive which should be enough but that decision is down to yourself which way you prefer to fit it so now just follow the process all the way down to achieve a fully fitted staircase look so now we've got all the threads cladded very important part is when the glue start coming out just wait until it's dry it's a lot easier to remove just use a Stanley knife blade just cut it there and cut it on top and it will nicely come off don't try to wipe it in or wipe it out sorry as you have the as the glue is still uh, active or not dry so that's how it looks Thanks for watching part 9. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. All the components we use for, these, for making these videos are available in the link below. My name is Lucas and I will see you in part 10 where I will explain how to finish off the newel post cladding which we started in part 3. So I'll see you there.